Hey there, it's Seton. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you what I got on my return visit to the Longchamp warehouse. They had a pre-Thanksgiving sale and it was a big blowout um, in which their selection was more than twice the usual selection. Um, and things went in like 15 minutes, like everything sold out in like 15 minutes uh, for the most part. Um, and I was only able to get uh, one of the things that I wanted, which is this bag right here. So let me uh, show that to you because this is a special bag. But before I do, um, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, and um, for more content like this, because I'm always talking about Longchamp. So what you have in front of you is a Le Pliage XS size 1500 model from Spring 2020 collection, and this actual bag was on the runway. Um, it is in the color natural, and it is from the Le Pliage Lux line, Lux, and it's made out of the most expensive calfskin leather that. Longchamp uses. And I am familiar with this leather, which is why um, I'm taking the time just to focus on this one bag. Now, right now, Longchamp is using this leather just for one line, and that is the Roseau Lux line. And it only comes in the colorway Cognac. This in front of you is natural. And um, they have it in three different sizes, I believe, in the Roseau, plus two small leather goods. A card case like this. And, and with any of the items in that line, the price is about double what you would get in the exact same size and model in cowhide because um, this leather um, goes through a special tanning process, uh, which I will talk about uh, further on. So first of all, let me show you this bag. Um, it is in the color natural and um, this is the back right here. And this has already been tanned a little bit unevenly because this is going to go through. This is very sensitive to light and heat and, and you know, tans uh, very sensitively to sunlight. So, um, like stored wise, you can tell, I think, like this half right here was had more sunlight than than this part so this this side is darker i think you could see that but you could especially see it on the side here i mean look how much darker this 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 section is to this section because like um the sunlight hit against this but anyway um And this is the feet. It already has um, blemishes like right here on it that is not going to come out, but I don't mind. It's on the bottom. It has a, it has like this deep scratch that is not going to come out. It came to me with a few scratches and like really light ones like here. I think you can see it right here. Right here. 
Um, this one was a little bit more obvious when I first got it, but but with this type of leather, you can use the oils from your fingertips and like rub it, and it's going to um the scratch is going to melt a little bit um into the patina of this bag. Now, when I say the oils of your hand, I don't mean sweat, because if you use sweat on this bag, it's going to leave a stain. Um, but like just like the natural oils of your very dry hand is going to um it's going to like soften um the scratches, the light scratches. And then um with this um with this type of leather you can always let me see if you can see that. Mm, no. You can usually see like the stretch mark. There is one right here, but I guess it's a little bit harder to see. Let me see if I can focus on that. Okay, so let me um let me show you um like this um these uh these excess bags at the time usually came with this um this like short, very short strap. And I usually don't use straps with these bags, but I am probably going to in this case because um and first of all, let, let me show you the difference in, in patina. Because this one was like stored and so it doesn't have any patina. And then you can see that the front panel here does have the patina. So you can see the difference. I don't think it's really going to darken very a lot. Um, I'm going to talk about the patina a little bit later because I will show you this against... Um, actually, let me show it to you now. I have a piece of Louis Vuitton um, famous vaquetta. And, um, you know, it's, it's a different type of leather. This is cowhide, um, untreated cowhide. And this is calf skin, which goes through um, a multi-step intensive expensive process which is why it is the most expensive uh calf skin that um longchamp uses uh let me open the bag for you because like the care card does say what is ma it's made out of right there calf skin lined with textile and a feature of of these um, leather that uh, that Longchamp uses is like you really can't see because it's black. Unfortunately, I wish that it was um, in a in beige. I know the cognac version has a beige colored lining. Oh God, where's the focus on that? Okay. Okay. I don't know if you can see, I can't even pull out the lining, but it is like a cotton, uh, boat canvas type of really thick lining. Um, and this type of lining, um, Longchamp reserves for usually bags made with this type of leather. Mine is made in France. And, um, Usually, I like it when it's made in France, but in this case, uh, I think the workmanship on this specific bag uh, is not the best. I noticed that, um, yeah, you can, let me focus on that. The The edge work is pretty rough here. Do you see that right there? Um, I'm going to have to shave that a little bit when I have the chance, when I get home, um, and make that smoother, because right now it's... it's not only is it rough looking, but it's rough feeling. Uh, and that that's going to bother me. And, and you know, um, another thing I don't uh, think, I think that could have been better was, um, I'm not too crazy about, um, it has like this black edge coat. It has this black edge coat. Um, I would have preferred the traditional um, burgundy like um, the Louis Vuitton of Machetta. But 
I know why they didn't do that sort of, um, because um, they do make um, Vaquetta um, bags, Longchamp that is, and when they do, it is in that dark red um, edge coat uh, resin work. And, um, but like, I feel like, you know, like if you're going to have like a black resin edge coat like this, then you should have, and this is in, in like the, the shiny nickel hardware, it should be in the gunmetal hardware so that like, um, so that the, um, the hardware would pop a little bit more, you know, I mean, like I have this nano so that you could compare this is in obviously lambskin it has the um the gunmetal hardware and um longchamp calls it black nickel or black silver or dark silver something like that uh, that's a technical term for it and this also has like the the black uh edge on it and um you know the hardware pops on this more so I feel like you know, they miss an opportunity for that. Um, but but you know it, it's it's very hard to tell you about the feeling about uh, this bag. I mean it's calf skin, so it's it's already soft to the touch. But this uh, the way this uh, tan this leather is tanned, it goes through like this like oily waxy process that um people talk about like the velvet hand of a leather like this and it and it's like uh, it's very tactile it's like one of the most tactile um leathers that you can have on a bag and it does almost feel like 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 if leather can feel like velvet this is what it feels like it is incredibly soft and like, you know, I mean, I have this uh, lambskin nano and this is so much more like, like plush, plush, velvety, soft than this. I mean, this is nice and smooth and soft, but this one, you know, because of the tanning process is just um, like on another level. Um, So, um, I think that would be it. Um, I showed you, like, all the sides, and I showed you the inside. That is, um, has this black uh, canvas, and it's made in France. What I will probably do is, um, I think that, like, no matter, uh, how much, like, you know, I tan it, and I'm not gonna tan it artificially. I, I might leave it in the sunlight a little bit, but even if I do, it's probably never gonna tan as much as this color. And you can see that it has like some sort of like pinky undertone to it. Um, while this one is, this honey um, is like more yellowish, so is the the Louis Vuitton uh, Vaquetta. Um, I also have this this um this wallet in also in from the Mademoiselle line, also in Caskin, in also in the colorway natural, and you can see how much more yellow this is uh, than than this. So I feel like, you know, no matter how much I tan it, it's only going to tan only a little bit more than, than this, uh, this, this part, uh, which is fine, you know. Um, I'm just going to, like, enjoy it for, like, the unusual um, piece that it is. Um, and what I'm going to do is, usually, I, I, I usually don't um, hold... Uh, the bag with the handles um, because it's going to patina a lot so I'm probably going to attach this um, this 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 strap the short strap 
and carry it with the short strap. But what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna tie a twilly around this short strap, um, so that um, this 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 um leather won't darken. And 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 it's gonna add a little bit more um you know color to this bag, if I did that. So, um, there you have it, the Longchamp Le Pliage looks in extra small 1500 size in the colorway natural um, i hope this is helpful um i forgot to talk about the price i think the regular price back in 2020 was around 520 when um the regular excess in in leather lambskin was 380 i believe at that time um, I paid 150 plus tax, uh, for this item at the warehouse sale. Um, the, the, the warehouse, um, usually do 70 to 80% off. I don't know how much percentage it is. I don't think it is, uh, set, it is, um, uh, I think it's less than 70%, um, some some of the um the items are only like fifty percent off. So uh but um uh, this is very hard to find and it is really just for like people who really know uh about this type of leather uh, that it would appeal to. So until next time, this is Seton. Bye now.